Hello, hello, hello. I'm Chris Angel. Now today, let's go over how to sign up and play in a tournament that is offered through the new website, slowchessleague.org. Now the slowchessleague.org website was created by Sir Ivanhoe. And it is really actually a quite brilliant solution to some of the problems that we were having trying to get some of these tournaments arranged. The organization is much, much better over here. So let's see, how do you sign up and play in a tournament that is offered through the slowchessleague.org website? Well, it's very simple. If you'd like to enter any of our tournaments, the first thing that is very important that you do is read about it. And you can do that by reading the rules. Now from your home page, you can go across and you can find the rules and you click on it. The rules there explain a little bit about our tournaments and how they work. If you read them and it looks like something that you would like to try to do, then we invite you to sign up. To sign up for one of the tournaments, you simply go up to the right upper corner of your page where it says Howdy. And you hover over your name, and then you hover over Profile, and hover over Edit. Once you get to Edit, go ahead and click. And you will be taken to a page where you will see your picture, which I hope is uh, lovelier than mine. <laughs> and underneath that, you will see something that says Editing Base Profile Group and some boxes. And these boxes are the tournaments that are either ongoing or can potentially be registered. And so uh, let's say that we would like to sign up for a league qualifier, for example. You click on that and you are taken to a page and it has this option here, sign me up, and you click yes. And you also have to click and verify that you have read the rules and click yes. Mm -hmm. And then you save your changes. Once you've done that, you are entered. Now, if you'd like to look and make sure, okay, did I do this right? Am I entered? Very easy to do that to verify. Uh, you come up to uh, where it says Howdy in your name, click on Profile, and click on View. Once you do that, under all of your basic information, you will see the events for which you have registered. And so you can see here, I've signed up for Qualifier 31. Also has that I have read the rules. All right, so you are registered. Now what? The Sunday evening before the tournament is scheduled to begin, you will get an email that reports that the pairings have been made. Okay, so how do we do with this? Very easy. This is where the slowchessleague.org is so simple. It's, it's terrific. So much easier than our old way of doing it. Uh, just come to your home page and over here you see some tabs and one of them says My Games. Click on that. Now, since the qualifier hasn't begun yet, I'm going to show you, for example, in another tournament that I actually have entered and am going on. Uh, and you will see under my games uh, the names of the tournaments that are going on. I am in the grand opening Swiss, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can see uh, right underneath that my pairing is listed and it is a hyperlink. Now what I do is I click on the hyperlink and I am taken to a page where I can negotiate a time with the opponent that I have been assigned. And uh, Sir Ivanhoe is, is really, it can't get any easier, it really can't. Uh, he has down who is white, who is black. He has down uh, the time zone that I am in. And you can take a look at the time zone uh, that your opponent is and see if you can come up with a time that might be good, that you know will be good for both of you. And that is uh, a better way to make sure that we can get a good time into play. That is our purpose. We are here to play. And so uh, I come in here and uh, the rules require that we uh, make three offers 
where we are available. So I've done that here, as you can see. Uh, I have three offers. I include the day, the date, and the time. We do use Eastern time. We also have, uh, you can, right over to the right, you can click on the, the time zone converter. So if you're not sure what time it is in Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, whichever we happen to be using, you can pop over to that link and click in uh, the time and you can click New York. Uh, New York is Eastern Time. All right, so uh, my opponent has come along and has actually said that one of my times works for him. Uh, if those times would not have been good for him, he uh, can offer three times of his own and we just negotiate from there. Um, and as you can see over on the right, if you're, diff if you're a little, oh, how do I do this? And you want to remember, uh, the, it says how this works and you can toggle these on and off to see exactly what we need to do. All right. Also, over on the right, uh, you won't see it now, but where it says minimum offer deadline has expired, uh, there is a clock at times, and sometimes you will see this message, depending on what day of the week. If it is a Sunday evening, um, we you will see a clock there that is counting down, and we require that offers be made by 11.59 p.m. on the Tuesday of that playing week. There will be a clock counting down the time to Tuesday of that playing week at 11.59 p.m. So again, Sir Ivanhoe has made it very, very easy. You know when you have to get it done. So it, it really is such a, a wonderful way of doing this. All right, so I've been assigned my, my uh, opponent. I've negotiated with my opponent and uh, we have arranged a time to play. Well, one of the next things that I do is I click on my opponent, and over here, there's a couple things that you can see. Uh, on the right, here is the chess.com profile for Murky Lizard, uh, and there is also a link that will take you to their standard games, and that's kind of cool, so you can try to prepare yourself. There's also ICC profile. Uh, since I happen to be playing on the chess.com server, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it will take me to that members page. And what I like to do is make sure that this person is on my friends list because that will make life much easier when we go to play. So I'm going to just click over here, add to my friends list. And I erase the default message. And usually I write something like, for the purposes of, and I name whatever tournament I happen to be in. This one is the Swiss, the grand opening Swiss. And I always add a thank you. And then I'm going to submit that friend invite to my opponent. Okay, so let's say the time has come along for you to play. What do we do? Well. In this particular case, uh, the, these games are being arranged for the chess.com live server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to play and click live chess. And we're going to click play live chess. Once that comes up, you can click over to the friends tab and watch for your friend to go ahead and arrive uh, so that you can start the game that you have arranged to play. And uh, to challenge them, I'm just going to demonstrate using one of my friends here. Uh, to challenge them, you click on their name, hit challenge to a game, and you're going to change the presets to custom. This particular tournament is a 45-45, so for initial time, I write 45. For bonus time, I write 45. Uh, for the purposes of this particular tournament, they are rated. And I play and I pick the color that I have been assigned. In this particular game, I've been assigned white, so I'm going to click white. And then I click create new game. I'm not really going to do that, but if I were to do that, uh, you can even pop over to the alerts and it will say you have issued a challenge. Once your challenge is accepted and you play, 
we do encourage good sportsmanship. I'll often write into the chat, uh, good afternoon or good evening, and uh, let them know, um, nice to see you. And after the game, I always say thank you. And many times your opponent might uh, be able to go over the game with you and you can chat about it. Uh, but at any rate, after the game is over, the players are responsible for making sure that the result has been uh, reported in that forum where we did our negotiating. So in order to do that, you cannot take the link from here. You must go to your home page go to your profile, go to your games tab, and click on the game that you just played. So I'm just going to click on a random game here. And what you do once you've opened that is you come up to the top and you get the URL. You highlight it, you right click, and you copy. Once you have done that, you're going to go back to the slowchessleague.org website. And let's say that we're going from the home page. Again, you will click on My Games. Again, you click on the link with your name and your opponent's name. And you very simply come down to the comment box, you right click, and you paste. And then you submit. That's all there is to it. Uh, the following Sunday, if you are in a tournament that lasts uh, uh, several weeks, uh, the Sunday, the pairings will come out and you will do the same thing again. So that's how you play on the new website. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching and goodbye.